morning everyone it is day two in taiwan and i just finished getting ready it's eight around 8 30 now and i've been up since six or seven but surprisingly my jet lag wasn't that bad because i knocked out around 8 p.m last night woke up at 1 a.m fell back asleep and woke up at six so i'm actually very proud of myself because i slept very 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 deeply so that was really good we're going to get the hotel breakfast downstairs and then i'm going to be meeting with a friend for lunch from parsons at 12 at taipei main station we are going to get japanese food so i'm very excited to eat sushi and then we're just gonna walk around q square which is basically like the big shopping center in taipei main station because it's indoors and it's still raining outside there's still typhoon weather as you can tell it's still raining um it's very gloomy so there's not really much else to do but so i did my makeup this is a pretty light face and i have on these really beautiful earrings i got when i went to italy this past summer from murano look how beautiful this purple glass is and also the shape is just really pretty i got it from one of the souvenir boutique shops like on the street and yeah just thought i put it on for a pop of color i'm wearing my uniqlo ribbed sweater today with my airism tank underneath i'm beginning to realize that a lot of my stuff is from uniqlo in my closet but that's okay and then i'm wearing my zara gray jeans and my air force ones so yeah let's go get breakfast there's my mom in the back so this is the fit yeah it's very casual and um girly too with the earrings you will be just fine in the summertime and it's such a crime hotel it is now 5 p.m um i parted ways with my friend at around four now i'm back at the hotel uh because i just wanted to recharge but also because my period came and i'm feeling so fatigued now i drank so much tea today but regardless i just feel so lethargic all of a sudden and also my cramps are hitting so i think i'm probably gonna call it a day Honestly, it really sucks that I have to come back so early and I can't do anything for the rest of the night, but I'm also just tired. Right now, I'm making some ginger tea to make the pain go away and I took an Advil, but first day periods are always the worst. So probably going to take a shower and then probably knock out at 8 again. I'm doing a really good job with jet lag, to be honest with you guys. I've been up since six or seven and i felt completely fine the whole day i cannot wait to wipe off all this makeup and just take a shower and go to sleep but anyway today was really nice catching up with my friend from parsons just like forgot that i have such amazing creative friends and it's really um inspiring me to get out and just like do things that i love doing okay Gonna probably edit the vlog and talk to you guys tomorrow. And you satisfy me. And you satisfy. Good morning. So it is 
Tuesday morning and I did not sleep at all yesterday night. I woke up at 2 a.m. and then I didn't fall back asleep until like 6 or 7. But even then, I really barely slept. I'm not sure if it's because of jet lag or because I just drank an excessive amount of tea yesterday. Like, because I was out. Hopefully, I don't knock out in the middle of the day today. Today will be a solo Steph day and I'm excited to vlog for you guys. It is still raining outside, but it's not as heavy as um, the past two days. Also, I barely slept because the rain was so loud. And I was just very excited for some reason. I just kept thinking about how happy I am to be here. Just kind of edited my vlog. Anyway, I'm getting ready now and I have absolutely nothing planned. I don't know what to really do today, but that's uh, the exciting spontaneous part i guess and maybe check out some bookstores maybe go shopping tomorrow i'm so excited because i've planned my hair appointment with my hair uh, dresser yolong and i have not seen him since the last time i was here and it's gonna be exciting i can't wait to vlog that as well because i have no idea what kind of hair i want yet just going in blind i asked him to help me find some references and then we'll go from there but yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of tired of being a brunette. Um, it's just pretty boring. Um, but I definitely need to not damage my hair. So today, since I'm just alone, I'm not going to do anything crazy with the makeup. I'm literally just going to do my eyes. And that's really it. Okay, just finished my makeup. Did a very light eye makeup. And uh, that's really about it. Okay, I'm really digging my outfit today because I wanted to center it around these nike ambush black sneakers and i'm trying to challenge myself by wearing more darker clothes i'm wearing this mock neck pink from zara and the crop is very weird it's a huge gap in my stomach here which looks very awkward i do not like to show this much skin especially in taiwan I'm wearing my kith sweatshirt instead to cover it up and it's cropped so it works out it's got it's the uh, one from the olia capsule and my Uniqlo dark denim wide-legged pants. These are just so comfortable. And then my Yoon Ambush black sneakers. Perfect for this rainy day. Let's get going. It's already 9.30. I've been in this hotel room since yesterday at 5. It's time to really head out now. Um, yeah, let's go. It's like the shopping area with all the trendy stores and it's pretty dead. There's no one on the street because it's in the middle of the work day right now. But uh, I just thought I'd just walk around and let's uh, check out some small shops. Look at all these mirrors and all this space. It's time to go back to my room. You know my problems and 